Right, hello there guys, this is just Mike again from Mike's Models On and this is my other reviews that I've got to do. Um this time around I'm gonna be showing you a much bigger kit. I bought this one myself. Just seen it, had to have it. The Eurofighter Typhoon single seater by Ravel. Size dimensions there so you get quite a uh, to know about it. 22 centimetres on the length and 15.4 centimetres on the wingspan. Not that bad. Um, not that bad at all. The thing I like about that is the rockets. Um, it's got loads of rocket advances on it, which I think is absolutely brilliant. Um, and then on the back, it shows you all the model kits that you can get by them. So, I'll just put that to one side a minute just so you get a full rundown of what this is going to be like we've got the kit so I'll show you all that in a bit get to the rockets later first part I'm going to show you is the fuselage as well basically that's the rundown of the fuselage nice plastic doesn't feel flimsy or anything the detailing is brilliant on this Absolutely, I couldn't even complain because it's just brilliant. Um, the size is not that bad either, so it's just going to be like my tornado that I've got. It'll probably go near it, no doubt. And then it comes to my favourite part, which is the wing itself. Detailing on that, you can just see it brilliant, absolutely. Detailing is outstanding. And you've got the afterburners there, the wheels. So I can have an advance here. I can have them like that. Or I can have them open like that. I think I'm going to do it like that because they look quite cool. I'm not quite sure yet though. I might have them open. I'm not sure. You've got the nose cone there and the other part where the afterburners are. So that's that and then we have the other part of my favorite part of it which is the rockets themselves it's like the heat seeking missiles and sidewinders and all that and we've got parts in there that go on the wheel wells and stuff um i think this kit's really well made actually uh, you've got the more cockpit interior there, and there's the cockpit itself. The detailing could be a little bit better on it. It's not too much to write an essay about. <laughs> um, it's quite good though. I wouldn't necessarily put it down just because of bad stuff like that. See, we've got some more stuff there. And then we've got other stuff as well. So we've got more rockets, more bombs on there, you can see. Maybe refueling pods, I don't, I'm not quite sure. So, and obviously, yeah, we all know you get the cockpit glass. So basically, the rundown is you get all that in that. So it's like a very small box, but you get a shitload of sprue. So you get a lot of plastic, as you can see, it's going to take time to put this one together because it's, it's just, it's all in your face basically, it's just tons and tons and tons to do, but that's what I like about Revo. So, get all this stuff and push this all to one side because I'm going to be showing you the information booklet itself. That's all the sprewage there. The decals, however, <sighs> they're just all over the place. <laughs> when I first seen this, I was like, oh my god. I thought it was just going to be all simplified, but, oh god, it, they're just everywhere. Um, but then again, it's not that bad. Um, I like it, so see what I can do with the decal part of it. 
so now I'm going to show you the information booklet. Yeah, I know many of you don't really like to look at it, but you know, I think it's alright. Yeah. Get a rundown to see how many of the parts there is to this kit. <laughs> As you can see straight away, it's all over the place. So, but they've got like nice stuff. Like I showed you that Tamiya kit that I last reviewed. It was all over the place and it didn't have these lines going through to give you all these sections and that. This is what I like about Revell. Because it's all decent you can, and you can do it without being more muddled over by looking at a stupid Tamiya one. No offence. I'm not, I'm not offending my mate in any way there. It's just... Ugh, Tamiya's shit. I'm, 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 the reason why I'm saying Tamiya shit is because... Like I said in my last part of the review... They're over expensive, they charge too much, and uh, they're just not for me. Sorry, just not for me at all. I prefer Ravel any day. Um, so, there you, this is what I'm trying to talk about. Here. You've got Storm Shadow, Storm Shadow, so those are those big tank things. And then we've got these ones here, Sidewinder, as I was saying. And then you've got your Meteors. And then you've got the Asram, Iris. You've got all these bomb names. So, <laughs> you've got quite a lot to do. Um, and there's more of them. All the bombs that you have to do and everything, so... 44 steps and then I'm just gonna I'm gonna do it that color actually or the R I'm gonna do it the RF one actually because the uh, where's the RF one uh, there we are this is the one I'm doing the RF version they always do the RF stuff because it's my country and where I come from and I don't want to do other uh, foreign countries or anything I know my country and I'll stick by my country. Great British. So, RAF. Right. So, basically, that's what you get with the um, Eurofighter Typhoon. I will be doing this eventually, just not yet, guys, because uh, as I've got other things to do. I've got a massive project, which is over there. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, that's it right over there. And it is the XB70 Valkyrie, um, which is really, really massive. I don't know how I'm going to be doing it. Um, I'm going to have to get loads of spray paint for it. Uh, definitely the white spray paint. Gloss. And I'm going to have to do that one up. So, thank you for watching uh, this review, guys. And I'll keep you posted, as always. Have a nice day. Keep yourself safe. See you later. Bye now.